Hello guys, welcome to Ride VIP, the Ride Your Channel. My name is Serge and in today's video I want to tell you guys how did my first day went actually using a Range Rover. Uh, did I make any money? Did I lose money? How did it go? I'm sure you guys are curious. Well, this morning, it's Saturday morning. Uh, it is 7.30 a.m. Just got done uh, with this shift and I will show you exactly how much money I made, but I'm pulling up currently at the gas station. First, I wanna find out how much fuel did it cost me. One thing for sure, guys, I did exactly as I normally do. I fueled up a full tank. It cost me 70 bucks to fuel up, and it still says I have 80 miles left over. So, I'm slightly below a quarter. Well, actually slightly means half. Let me show you kind of like what it looks like. So here's my fuel situation right now. Let me fuel up and show you what it's gonna cost. It cost me $65.44. I literally topped it off all the way. So technically 65 bucks. This is exactly the same gas station uh, that I actually started off with. It's gonna take a while for this thing to update as I'm gonna start driving. It's gonna, the fuel gauge is gonna go up. I never shut the vehicle off when I'm fueling. Simple fact, anything could happen. Your starter could go out, your car might not decide to start. So I only shut it down when I get home. So let's start off by taking a look exactly what I made on Friday. I was planning to work 12 hours. I did have a late start. So I'm just finishing now at 7.30. And as you could see, I worked 10 hours and 45 minutes. Let's just say 11 hours. So in 11 hours, I have made $22.49. I already done the quick little math. And that is um, basically taking uh, $247.39, <clears throat> dividing it by 11. But how much did I really make? So let's take... 247 and 39 cents and 39 cents and well minus 65 dollars and uh, what is that uh, 44 cents that's what it cost me so that means for the whole shift of 11 hours i've made 181.95 cents um using a range rover after the fuel expenses so this is the total cost of fuel, which is $65.44 that it cost me for the whole entire shift. Now, if I would have worked one hour more, who knows, I would have made a little bit more money. I would have spent a little bit more on fuel, but I'm happy with these numbers. They're not as amazing as normally. I think for the same amount of time, I should have technically made a lot more on the Friday, but Friday is usually never that good for me. So let's go ahead and actually divide this by 11. So I'm making $16.54 an hour. Not what I want to make, but guys, this is after expenses. So it's not as bad as it could be. So now that I have mentioned this, let me talk to you guys for a second. And end the video. So, anyways, guys, the thing I want to talk to you guys about after I just uh, discussed, uh, you know, the cost and what I earn and stuff. A um, couple things. So, I am planning to get uh, the one hundred fifty-five dollar bonus by completing sixty-five trips. So, this will help compensate uh, the fuel expenses when it comes to the Range Rover. Now, for that, that means I need to work the weekend every single day and try to work at least 12 hours which in today's case i did not but i had a rough um start uh yesterday because my vehicle actually started overheating and i did not even think i was going to be able to work uh to be honest but uh gladly i figure out what the problem was i've made a video about it um I will be posting that video to my um, to my uh, Range Rover channel. But long story short, I developed an air pocket 
uh, with something that I have done. Um, it was very minor and it caused the air pocket. Who would have thought? Very finicky type of vehicles. So easy to create an air pocket and before you know it, you're overheating. But this did clarify a couple things for me. I know for a fact that the previous overheating situation was not head gasket related uh, at all. Uh, it was uh, related to an air pocket in the system. Quite a big one at that. So apparently, the air pocket is not that easy to get rid of if you don't know what you're doing. And I can't say that I knew exactly what I was doing to get rid of it. Uh, I got lucky on the first attempt because it really did work. Um, I was able to get rid of the air pocket when I when I bought it in just a single day. And I know what I did and I wanted to do it like that. But with trial and error, trial and error, trial and error, I was able to sort of like figure out like how to get the air pocket out. I had some ideas. Well, now, since yesterday, because I had the same issue, I had overheating issue. I remedied the issue. Then drove 15 minutes home. Everything was fine. Then I was making a video of how, how that issue actually came to happen in the first place recreated an overheating issue again i'm like well why did i do that right but i'm thinking i could get rid of this so i got rid of the issue made a video showing you guys how to get rid of it in case you have a range rover or thinking of getting one or a land rover or a jaguar and even austin martins would have a very similar type of engine um by the way i have a really uh well never mind the holder is twisted a little bit for the phone but in either case i was taking a very big risk in really not knowing what's going to really happen uh today when i was going to take the range rover out and you know do my runs um but ultimately i knew what caused the issue i fixed it and i had my fingers crossed things will go well one thing I will tell you guys I do need to replace the radiator um, and I plan to do that between Monday and Thursday of next week uh, from now on my plan is to only do three days a week which is Friday Saturday and Sunday and take care of business Monday through Thursday of other things that gotta get done some of them will not make me money but a lot of that stuff is family related stuff and business related stuff um with that being said i chose the three optimal days which is friday saturday and sunday uh, which makes a lot of sense if there's bonuses they usually pay out the best if there's work there's usually lots of it and usually i could make at the very minimal nine hundred dollars on in those three days so that's a no-brainer i think that will that will be pretty good but there's a very good chance i could make eleven hundred dollars to twelve hundred dollars in three days but minimal nine hundred uh and that is gross so after fuel yeah i'll be probably slightly below nine hundred maybe like eight hundred dollars but i will be working the next two days I will be tracking the progress of the Range Rover for the next three days as far as the fuel economy goes and things of that nature so that you could see what kind of money I'm making. But I'll tell you this, guys, a little comparison uh, to the Tesla I've rented. So today the Range Rover cost me $65 in fuel, right, for the whole shift. So the Tesla with the charging was costing me when I was renting it a hundred dollars a day so this is still by far a better deal using a non-fuel efficient Range Rover and technically I'm making exactly the same money as I did with a Tesla Model 3 dual motor when I when I rented it so and you remember if you watch those videos how many hours I worked I worked crazy hours because I was losing a lot of time due to the fact that I'm charging. 
because instead of working, I'm over there charging. See, today I started the shift and I literally did not stop. I worked and worked nonstop um, and up until now to the point that I had food with me. I did not even eat my food. So the whole entire shift, I did not eat anything. Guess what? I woke up yesterday noon, noon time, maybe one o'clock, and I went to sleep about seven. There was no reason for it, except I just can't sleep. Because um, I, I really did not work uh, Lyft or Uber, you know. So I had about five hours of sleep. I woke up, I did not have any breakfast. Um, so I did have some water. Then my wife prepared me some lunch, which uh, this is after I already went and I did some stuff with family and then I came home right at about, I think like 6 p.m. or so. She offered me some uh, lunch or I guess late dinner, or I guess it would be late dinner. And um, I just had like a spoon of it. And I said, you know what, honey, I'm in a hurry. Just, uh, you know, prepare it to go for me. So she prepared to go. I haven't even touched it. She usually gets upset when I don't eat her food when she actually takes her time to prepare it. But I did not even touch the food, so today I'm gonna have to just give it to the cats uh, when I when I get home. Pretend that I ate it, <laughs> but um, <laughs> make her feel good at least. But the thing is, I still haven't eaten nothing. Uh, I did have a couple of energy drinks though, sugar free and water. I am trying to drop a, a few pounds. So this is why I'm doing what I'm doing, kind of fasting a little bit, or in, uh, intermittent fasting, whatever. Um, so my goal is to lose a little bit of weight because, I mean, I don't weigh that much. Like I weigh like 205 pounds. Uh, when I got married, I weighed 185 and that was 17 years ago. So considering the facts, it's not bad. But a lot of this weight gain happened because of my driving jobs. I've been driving ever since. Uh, from delivery to now uh, driving for for Lyft, driving for Uber, obviously. Um, so by sitting down where a lot of times we're munching and stuff and we just, each time you do that, you wanna do more and more and more. Um, but anyways, I plan to just get home, take a bath, I go to sleep right now and wake up and do this all over again. I'm surprised how well I feel knowing the fact that I haven't even ate nothing technically. A spoon of rice, a little bit of chicken doesn't really cut it. But anyways, guys, this is my news for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.